Hey YouTube, it's Kip Hola here. Uh, today I wanted to make a video about my Mulberry Roxanne purse. Here she is. Before I do, uh, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can uh, get notices and updates on all the purse and jewelry videos that I do. Trust me, I have way too many purses. I have all kinds of purses. So I'll be posting videos about individual bags, um, you know, storage, reviews, and stuff like that. So if you're interested, please subscribe down below. And I don't know if you can see my dogs. You can kind of see the back of my little French bulldog where she is. She is. Um, but that's Olive. She's just chilling on the bed. Mokul is right here. He's not in the view, but um, they're chilling on the bed with me. So like I said, um, I wanted to make a video about my Mulberry Roxanne. Here she is. Straps. So I got this Mulberry Roxanne no more than like three weeks ago off of eBay. Um, I didn't bid on her. I bought her for a fixed price. Um, I did make the seller an offer though. Um, I made the seller a discounted offer for her and the seller accepted. Um, but eBay is great for purses. I highly recommend eBay. The only warning that I would give is watch out for um, for her just fake bags, uh, knockoffs, stuff like that. Um, you know, since you never know if a seller is reputable or if their bag is genuine. Um, you really want to be careful about that. But at the same time, I highly recommend it because you can get fabulous bags at fabulous, fabulous prices, especially bags that are no longer on the market like this Mulberry Roxanne. And um, I was really surprised and really excited when I saw this one because this color, uh, Mulberry calls it lavender, although in my opinion, I wouldn't, I, I don't consider it lavender. I would call it a rose color, but, um, Essentially, it's a pink color, although I'm not a fan of pink, but this color, although it is pink, it's not really pink. I know that sounds stupid, but it's like a deep blush rose color with gold hardware, and I'm sorry for the light. I have sunlight pouring in from my left. I have my lamps on in front of me, so the light's not perfect, but... Yep, so this is her, Mul Mulberry Roxanne in lavender, but like I said, it's more like a blush rose color. And um, I got this, so like I said, this has been discontinued. I got this one at a very, very reduced price because the seller s considered it defective because it looks like it's been in storage forever since they have, and this is genuine and I've had um, Mulberry um, vendors, um, you know, at official mulberry stores, check it out for me and verify for me. Although they weren't able to give me any, uh, paperwork or anything like that, or uh, proof of authenticity, you know, I was wondering if they could give me a card or a certificate or something like that. They said that Mulder mulberry doesn't do that, so they weren't able to give me any paperwork on it, but they looked at it themselves, and after selling mulberry for so many years, they told me that they believed that it was genuine. And, I, and I'm the type of person, before I buy anything, I do a ton of research on it, I look into it, I look into genuine, um, you know, things, and then I also look at the faux items and the knockoffs, just so that I'm aware of what, um, of what those knockoffs and what those fakes would look like. So I did a lot of research on this bag. I'm positive that it's genuine, and the Mulberry um, Associates told me that it's also genuine. But how I got it at a really, really discounted price was the seller considered it defective because it looks like something got on the outside of the leather. Um, and like, on the bottom, you can't see it now because I've cleaned it, but on the bottom of the bag, it was like a white, it was like a white dust It that... It looks like it got all over the outside of the bag and kind of in between the creases of the leather. See, there's no white marking. And it was a significant, like, white 
round ring. And so the seller considered it defective because of that, but I knew from the photos and how they described it that it was just, you know, an exterior, I don't know. But I knew it could be cleaned. So they considered it defective, but I have cleaned it up. So what I did was, after I bought it, um, because I knew it was a steal, I went to a, an official Mulberry store at one of the malls in Virginia, Tyson's Corner, for those of you who live in Virginia and know it. And so I went to the Mulberry store, you know, I, I brought my bag, they checked it out, they assured me that it was authentic. And then I also bought a leather gel to clean it, because I did try cleaning it with water, but because the this bag has probably been in storage for far too long, you know, the leather was dry. Uh, it needed to be shined up, moisturized, polished. So I got this leather gel, and this is what Mulberry sells for its products. I tried it. Um, you know, as most of you know with leather, you should always try products on a very small, um, inconspicuous part of the bag. In case it's not the right product for the leather, you don't want to just put it all over your bag and damage the leather. So I tried it on a small part on the very bottom, on that white mark that there was, and it cleaned it off perfectly. And it left the leather all nice and moist and a nice shiny rose. So I still haven't, I'm, I've been terribly busy, so I haven't cleaned the entire thing with this product yet. I did do the back, so I don't know if you can tell, but the back is much more shiny and rich then the front, the front is still a bit dry, so I have to go over the front. But this leather gel is what Mulberry sells. Oh, wait, let me see. I'm hoping that my camera will focus, but it's, um, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's made in Germany, maybe Kolonil or Koyonil or... If it's German, it's probably not Koyonil because the double L probably does make the gas sound, but... Colonial Classic Leather Gels made in Germany and um, this is what you can you can get this um, from Mulberry from physical Mulberry locations and also I'm sure you can buy it online or directly from the manufacturer um, but yeah this is it, it's really just simple you know it says rub it on with a smooth cloth and then wipe it off and really it's very basic but it's great and it's mulberry leather product safe so um yeah so this is my mulberry roxanne so for those of you who aren't familiar the mulberry roxanne has these two front oh my goodness the magnets are quite strong which is good but it has these two it's genuine leather um it's kind of it's like unfinished leather or raw leather on the inside so it's kind of that I guess you could say suede feeling but it has a pocket and another pocket and I have something a little pill case in here and the closure is uh, their magnet it's magnetic closure and they have the buckles for an authentic mulberry the buckles should say mulberry it's, for you guys it'll be, it's upside down this way, but it says, it's just a mulberry on the side of the buckle. Okay, so it says mulberry written right here. And this is a uh, brass hardware. The buttons should have the, uh, come on, focus camera. The buttons should have the mulberry tree insignia um, imprinted on them. And then... So these are the two front pockets. They're wide enough to fit like a pillbox, cell phone, a wallet, and stuff like that. But then the main compartment is, it has three belt-like straps. Same as what keeps the front pockets closed. But these are much longer. Same thing, brass hardware, mulberry, the word mulberry, stamped on the outside of the buckle. So they all have that mulberry stamp. Um, so you open it like this, you just throw 
belts over. Once again, mulberry tree stamp over here. This is magnetic closure. It's all brass. Um, the stitching on this purse is white. And the main compartment of this beauty, I'm sorry, but I have things in in my bag right now. It's just, it's a great big compartment. So hopefully you can see that. It's, um, I guess it is suede on the inside. But it's, 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 I think it's suede. But it's like how you, you know, like most leather products, how they are on the inside where, you know, they're not, they don't make it all like shiny and glamorous like the outside. No, but it's still very beautiful. Um, and so it has this pocket here, this leather pocket on the back side of the purse. It has the little mulberry tab, which has the mulberry tree once again uh, printed, stamped into it. Uh, the back of it, the back of the tab has a serial number. You have the mulberry, if you can see it, you have the mulberry brand with the iconic tree and brass zipper and pocket. I have the, um, oh, and it did come with the, it's, this is Darwin leather. And so it did come with the tag because this had been, this was in Nordstrom. So it had, it was being sold by Nordstrom for, but for whatever reason it didn't sell. And it says, uh, you know, Mulberry Roxanne. Woo, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it to focus. But the Mulberry Roxanne, uh, Darwin leather in lavender. And, um, yep, so I have those cards. Yep, so it has that pocket in here for, you know, cell phone wallet, um, for a little bit of organization, and then the rest is just a large compartment. And it has these two buckles, two flaps and buckles on the outside. Uh, these buckles don't say mulberry, and I think that's because these are D-rings, so because of their shape, it doesn't, um, you know, they're not flat. But these buttons do have the mulberry tree. So you have these flaps. It seems like there should be a strap that goes to this, but this purse was not intended to have any straps connected on these buckles. So they're just there just for um, aesthetic reasons. So that's it. And then to close it, you just fold it over. I like to fold, so I like to fold this front flap down first and like to put the back over it because I kind of like to be able to, you know, see the closure here in front or you could do it vice versa. There's no real, there's no correct way. So you could put the back flap down first and the front one over, but then it would be, you would see no opening to the purse. I like to be able to see the opening of the purse like this. And then you throw the buckles over and you're good to go. And that is the Mulberry Roxanne. Most of the time I carry it in the crook of my arm like this. Just, I wanna get it in the camera. Hold on, everyone. Let me jump on my bed. <laughs> okay, so most of the time I just carry it in the crook of my arm like this. Or I just, you know, just carry it in my hand like this. Let it hang low. It, it, you know, it's definitely not close enough to the ground for me to scratch it or dirty it on anything. So either I hold it in my hand or in the crook of my arm. But I love it. I'm so glad I found it. I want to say I'm so glad I stole it because I got a steal on this bag. And for whatever reason, although this is so beautiful and iconic and so unique, for whatever reason, Mulberry doesn't make them anymore. So they are hard to come by, especially one that's brand new. 
and not defective, which this is not defective, it was just dirty from storage. So, you know, to come by, and in this color, to come by one is very difficult, but I'm so, so excited, and for summer, uh, for summer, spring, whatever, really, but mostly for spring and summer, this is great. I've been using it a lot on the weekends when I go out. Yeah. So this is my mulberry. Another thing that I want to mention is with, um, you know, since I have seen a ton, a ton of, um, knockoffs, the knockoffs will, most of them will not have the same, uh, uh, sh like, uh, shape in cut of the leather. So, for example, uh, someone tried to get me to buy a knockoff of a black mulberry, um, but what I noticed, and this is also what the mulberry, um, vendors confirmed to me as well, is that you see the shape of the uh, leather here for the handle. The shape of the knockoffs was different. It was round. It wasn't as pointy, as finely cut. Same thing with the shape of the leather over here and the shape of the leather over here and the shape of the leather over here. So if you're wondering, if you're looking at a mulberry and wondering if it's fake, look at the shape. You'll see this, you can always reference this video for the shape of the cut. And this is a big thing for whatever reason. Um, they just don't cut it the same way. They just kind of like round it off. It's hard to explain. But uh, genuine mulberries, you'll see they all have this shape. Uh, uh, it's a, a bit pointier on the leather cut over here. The knockoffs won't. So that's a big thing. You know, the, the knockoffs, they won't have brass hardware. Um, another thing, I forget exactly the difference, but on the knockoff that someone was trying to get me to buy, this um, magnetic clasp over here was different. So, I'll try to get my camera to focus. I was hoping it would focus better. But if you can... Ooh! There you go. Take a look at that cent at that central magnetic um, uh, clasp. That's what a genuine, what an authentic Mulberry Roxanne, what it would look like. The um, knockoff that I was looking at, it was different for whatever reason. It was not beveled. How this is, how this one was beveled. It wasn't beveled. It was just flat, magnetic. Um, and of course, you always want to. Can my camera focus? <laughs> Sorry. It's having a hard time. But, um, you also want to look at the, the faux mulberry that I was looking at. This, see, this leather is very soft, very supple. You know, it's not hard. It's not stiff. The fake mulberry that someone was trying to get me to buy was hard. It was almost like, almost plastic-like on the outside. Um, it, it was real leather, but they processed it. The process was not as, um, it wasn't as high a quality process as what Mulberry does to their leather. So the knockoff leather was really hard on the outside. Almost, it had a hard plastic painted um, appearance and feel to it. So you want to look at the leather. So this Mulberry very, very fine leather, very soft, very supple, squishy, and of course, um, you know, with time it'll slouch a bit more. Mine is, I just got it, and I haven't carried it that much, but with time, it'll go from being taller to more suitcase-like, you know, more like this. It'll get like a slouch a little bit more, and it'll get rounder and kind of... <laughs> bulge outward a little bit like a more satchel like right now it's it's pretty tall because I haven't used it but yeah that is all that I can think of um the bottom does not have feet so you do want to be careful when you set it down because you do not want to scuff this beautiful beautiful bag 
Um, I think that's it. I'm always looking to help people avoid knockoffs and scams. So if anyone has any questions regarding the, you know, um, characteristics of a knockoff Mulberry Roxanne, let me know. I've done a lot of research about them. I've labored through the knockoffs and the authentics. So if you have any questions and you're looking at a bag and you're not sure if it's authentic or a knockoff, uh, shoot me a question. Shoot me a comment. I'm always looking to answer questions. Um, but of course I can only share what I have experienced. Um, so I, I am not an expert in the least. Not at all. But I would always love to help people out. And um, if there are any more questions regarding this, regarding the Mulberry Roxanne about its functionality or anything, if there's something that I didn't cover and you have a question, you want me to expound on something, just let me know, shoot me a comment, shoot me a question. I would love to attack this again. I will be carrying this all summer. And um, although the color, this color is not a winter bag, I'll probably still wear it in winter. I'm the type of person I don't stick to rules like that. So I'll be wearing this year round. But yeah, questions, comments, subscribe. Um, I have a ton of other purses, so I'm going to be doing a ton of other videos. But, yeah. That's all I can think of, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. For those of you who are desiring this bag, I wish you the best of luck finding one. I would just uh, suggest that you take your time and do your research because you don't want to spend money on, it, it would be a great disappointment if you got a false mulberry. But good luck for those of you who are desiring one of these. You can still find them out there. Um, I recommend eBay. All right, questions, comments, concerns, uh, leave them down below. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys in another movie. Bye.